It's going to be a lot of fun. Before we get started, I want to make sure everybody has what they need. So they should have their big brush, small brush. Make sure you have a paper towel so you can dry your brush while you go along. And then you should also have your dark blue, light blue, white, black, yellow, light green, and dark green. And make sure you have a cup of water to clean your brush. Bio looks ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting a few messages here that people can't get in. So I'm just gonna. All right, guys, so I'm going to hand you off to Julia, who's going to be doing the lesson today. Hi, guys. And don't forget to just put your name and age in the side chat here so we can do a raffle at the end of the lesson. Uh, so you can um, pin yourself and then I'll okay. go off to the side there. There you go. Julia, uh, Julia, I was told that you are sideways on Facebook. Okay, my phone is sideways on the tripod. Do you want me to try to take it off and put it somewhere else? That's the only way I could fit, I could fit it on the tripod. Is that okay or do you want me to change it? I could try to stand it up on the bookshelf right next to it. Do you want me to do that quick? Yeah, whatever you can do, I guess. Okay, one second. Is that okay? Uh, I'll I'll check. I think it is this on. I did not even charge. They don't care. You, let this me. This one has Zoom. That's it. I need to charge my phone. They don't let them have. Um, Can you find me? My is the live okay, Kim? Can you see it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, so we, we can get started. I think everybody's in. Whoever's not in, I'm answering here. Okay. So you're good to go. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Julia. I'm going to be giving the lesson today on the dragonfly. So you guys should have your big brush, your small brush, a cup of water, paper towels, and your canvas. Okay, so while we're doing this, just make sure that you're following me step by step so that we all get the same thing in the end. And when you're drying your brush, when you're cleaning your brush, make sure that it's dry in between when you're using it, okay? The first thing that you guys are going to do is you're going to take your big brush and make sure that it's dry and we're going to dip it in the dark blue. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line a little bit above the center of the canvas. So just about right here, and you're going to fill in above that line all blue. And remember that a little bit of paint will go a long way, so not to put too much paint, okay, because we do need it to dry. Yeah. 
Can you run out for a second, there, Brian? There's Sam. Okay, alrighty. Get started. Welcome, Olivia. And guys, make sure you spread that paint out nice and thin so it dries quickly. All right, guys, and when you're finished with that, you could clean off your brush and then dry it, okay? We're still gonna be using the big brush. All right, guys, and when we're almost done with that, we're going to dip it in the light blue and the whole bottom of the canvas is going to be colored in light blue. Okay. A little bit of paint will go a long way. So don't use too much paint. Okay. Because we do need it to dry in order to paint on top of it. All right, guys, so the top of your canvas should be dark blue. The bottom should be light blue. Make sure you spread the paint out so it dries quickly. All right, guys, so you should all have something like this. Make sure there's no white spots.
And when you're finished with that, you could clean your brush and dry it again. I see some familiar faces. I think a lot of you were on the last one last week. I have a question. Yes, what's up? You have to do like the bottom, like the whole thing, blue, like light blue. Yes. So okay. we did the top dark blue and then everything below that is gonna be light blue. Okay, okay. You guys need another minute for that? Okay. We gotta fix this one. Can I check? Hold on, let me just. If you need more time for that to dry, you can do the sides as well. Yeah, you could paint this part. Uh, yeah, if you want to let the um, middle dry a little more, because you want to make sure that's dry before you move on. So you can just do the sides for now. But don't touch the middle, because remember, we want that part to dry. And then that'll give a chance for anybody who needs to catch up to catch up. All right, guys, another minute, and then we're going to move on to the next step. So just catch up if you're behind. All right, guys, are we ready to move on to the next step? Can I get a thumbs up if you're ready? All right, a few more seconds. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna be moving on to the next step. So we're gonna take our small brush, make sure that it's dry, 
and we're going to dip it in the dark green paint. So now we're going to do the hills in the back, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a straight green line across the canvas, kind of in the center, a little bit above, a little bit after where you started the light blue paint. And then we're going to add hills like this. So you could do kind of just like a squiggly line if you can't see it. And then you're going to fill that in green, okay? Right, so you guys should have something like this. All right, guys, how are we doing with that one? Another minute and then we're gonna move on. If anyone's having a hard time, they can comment in the chat or hold up your canvas and we can try and guide you. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the next step if you're ready. So now we're gonna use the big brush. So just make sure that that's clean and dry. And we're gonna dip it in the light green paint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a line across the bottom about three inches up and just right across the canvas that's going to be our grass okay so just a line just like this i 
I see Kyle's. That looks great. What? The last step was to make a light green line on the bottom of the canvas as our grass, okay? We're not going to fill anything in with that yet. We're just going to draw the line. Hold on, let's see what she said. She didn't say to paint again. All right. Now we're gonna move on to the next step. So we're gonna take our small brush, make sure it's clean and dry. And we're gonna use the black paint, especially with black, we don't need too much paint, okay? So just a little bit of paint. We're gonna make the stems of the flowers, okay? So just a little bit of black. I'm going to do three. You can do more if you want, but you also don't want to fill the canvas up too much because we need space for the dragonfly. So we're going to do that on both sides, okay? Right, so it should look something like this. Wait another minute for that. So when you're finished drawing the stems for the flowers, we're going to add the actual flowers at the top. So for this, you're going to use your small brush. Make sure it's clean and dry again. So I'll give you guys a second to do that. Everybody okay? Everybody drunk? I can't really tell, but... I do get that one email that came in saying they couldn't join. Bottom son. Who? And then... What you guys are going to do is you're going to dip it in the your small brush in the white paint just a little bit. And to make the flowers, we're just going to dab little dots on the top of the stem, okay? 
So just like this. And if you keep dabbing, it'll just look like a little flower, okay? Not too much paint because we don't want it to drip. Right guys, so the flowers will look something like that, okay? Just a little bit of paint, dab it lightly. guys so just again to show you what it should look like at this point I'll give you guys a minute to catch up Is this anyone's first time painting on here? I see a hand, Sophia. I see another hand, Rosella. Robert. Antonella. And remember, you guys can always go back later and watch the video again and touch up your paintings. Or if you miss something, you can always go back and fix it. All right, guys. So now we're going to move on to the next step. So it's going to be with the small brush again. So I'm going to give you guys a second to just clean it and make sure that it's dry. So now for this step, we're going to be using the small brush and we're going to dip it in the dark green paint and we're going to be adding some grass above the line that we already painted for the grass, okay? So we're just going to draw some lines like this. Could do all different sizes, okay? Just make sure you don't go too high. So... Should be filling it in like this, in the dark green paint. Right, guys, so your grass should look something like this.
Alright guys, one more minute for that. I recognize a lot of names on here from some of the plaster plaster to go kit deliveries we did in the last week too. So you guys have been painting all week. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to move on to the next step. So we're going to take our big brush and make sure that it's clean and dry. And for this part, we're going to fill in the black on the bottom here, okay? So just use a little bit of paint. And at first, we're going to make a thick black line at the bottom, but the top is going to get a little lighter, okay? Here, Katie. They're pretty far So ahead. fill in the bottom. You want to wait? And then as it gets closer to the grass, you're going to turn your brush this way and you're just going to lift it up a little bit, okay, so that it's not too dark. So for the top, you're going to go like this. When you're finished with this part, if everyone can just hold up their canvas so we can see what you're up to so far. All right, looking good. Everybody's pretty caught up. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, everyone's doing well. Good. They look really nice, guys. Everybody has plenty of room for their dragonfly. Perfect. All right, guys, I'll give you another minute and then we're going to start the dragonfly, okay? All right, guys, so for the dragonfly, we're going to use our small brush first. So make sure that that's clean and dry, okay? And we're going to dip it in the dark blue paint, okay? Dark blue. Yes, you have a question? 
So we use the big brush or the small brush? We're going to use the small brush for the dragonfly, okay? Okay. And we're going to use the dark blue paint. Okay. All right, so once you have paint on your brush, we're just going to make a thin slanted line, okay? So starting around where your hills start, we're just going to draw a line like that, okay? All right, guys, so your line should look like that. And so what we're gonna do is you're gonna keep that dark blue paint on your brush and you're just gonna make the top of the line a little bit thicker, okay? Because this is gonna be the head. All right, so it should look like this now. All right, so when you're finished with that, you could clean off your brush and make sure that it's dry. All right, now we're gonna move on to the wings, okay? So again, with our small brush, now we're gonna use the white paint. So for the wings, we're gonna make like a leaf shape, okay? And we're gonna do two on each side, okay? Make sure they're not too thick because they're supposed to be a little thinner and longer rather than shorter and thick, okay? So something like that, okay? And we're gonna color them in as well. Also, just in case, um somebody forgot, put your name and age on the side of the chat here because we're going to do the raffle at the end of this session. So once you have them drawn, you could fill them in with the white paint, okay?
And remember, if you guys need to go over it again later, you can to get rid of any streaks or white spots. But for now, you could just do the best that you can. I also see a few kids painting themselves. It's probably best to paint the canvas. <laughs> Guys, so your wings should look something like this. All right, we're going to give everybody another minute or two just to catch up. Yes. And then for next Wednesday, we're going to be doing a flamingo. So Julia, if you can just put me in the middle. Yes. And I'll hold that up. This is going to be next week's next Wednesday, May 6, 4 o'clock. And if you guys order before Friday, by the end of Friday night, you can put in code flamingo five, and it'll give you $5 off. And that coupon's good to, uh, to Friday until Friday. All right, guys. So now we're just gonna take the small brush again with the white paint and you're just gonna add a few little lines on the dragonfly. And you could add two little eyes at the top up here. Just two little white dots. All right, and we're almost done. So the last part is the moon and stars, okay? So for that, we're gonna use our small brush as well. So make sure that that's clean and dry and we're gonna dip it in the yellow paint. So for the moon, we're just gonna do one big circle. And you could color that in. That's too far.
All right, and for the stars, we're just gonna do the same thing with the yellow paint, except we're just gonna dab the canvas like this. So you could put as many as you want. You guys can also turn your brush upside down and dip it into the yellow. And then just touch the canvas with the other side of the brush lightly. All right, guys, so that's just about it. If there's anything else that you guys wanted to add, you can. And now while everybody's doing their finishing touches, we'll do the raffle for today. The raffle is a $25 Amazon gift card. So I'm gonna have Taylor pull the name out and then she can just type it in the chat here to see who won. Okay, Juliana Ferrara. Juliana. Is she on here? Let me see. Did she leave? Go, oh, she's right here. Jo, oh. This is Juliana. Oh, okay. Oh, it says okay. <laughs> so if you can just um type in the name that the order was under so I can look it up and then we can mail the gift card to you. Okay. Excuse me. Perfect. Thank you. Excuse me. If you guys are done, you can hold up your painting so we can see how everybody did. Yeah, let's see how they came out. Wow, perfect. They all look so good. They look great. Remember to um, put your pictures up on Facebook. Share it with us on Facebook, on Instagram, Sprinkle of Fun Parties. Good Facebook job, guys. And we hope to see you guys next week for the Flamingo. Bye. Say thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Bye. Bye.
Koala. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Oh, she's muted. Bye. Bye. Ta -ta. Bye. 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 Oh, I think it's a brother. 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 Oh,